A Dark Universe, The Fall of Hadley's Hope. Hadley's Hope, a remote colony on the exomoon LV-426, was a thriving settlement bustling with families and workers. Established by the Wayland yutani Corporation, it promised a new frontier of opportunity and prosperity. The colonists lived in harmony, exploring the mysterious terrain and developing the colony's infrastructure. Newt was born on March 15, 2173 in the colony Hadley's Hope on Acheron, to Russ and Ann Jordan. She was the couple's second child, after her older brother Timmy, and was the first child to be born at the colony. As such, her birth was the cause of much celebration amongst the Hadley's Hope inhabitants. As a child, Newt enjoyed playing in the ventilation ducts with her brother and the other kids at the colony, despite their mother's threats to tan their hides if they did it again. However, the colony's safe environment and their tranquil existence were shattered when a directive from Wayland yutani led to the discovery of a derelict alien spacecraft. Inside, a deadly secret awaited. Eggs containing parasitic creatures known as xenomorphs. When one of these creatures, a facehugger, latched onto a colonist, the nightmare began. A few days passed, and the colonists seemed fine until a chestbuster, M-planet from the facehugger erupted from the chest in a bloody fountain of blood and disappeared down the corridors without anyone seeing. A few weeks later, mysterious disappearances started to happen. Workers and colonists started to go missing, and the colonist chief sent a search to find them. What they found was nothing that had ever seen before. What frightened them more was colonists' bodies were cocooned to the wall in what looked like a nest. As the video called back to the chief, the search party was attacked by xenomorphs. As the chief looked on in terror, watching his men getting slaughtered, he pressed the alarm button to evacuate the colonists into the hall behind massive steel doors. The chief ordered corridors to be barricaded and sent a team of armed men to fight these creatures. By then it was already too late. The parasitic organism matured into a lethal xenomorph and it unleashed havoc within Hadley's hope tearing into the men who never stood a chance against 40 xenomorphs. The colony's chief sent a communication to Earth, which later was severed, leaving the inhabitants isolated and vulnerable. The colonist can hear the gunfight in the corridor, the last men making a final stand against overwhelming xenomorphs, as the sound gets closer and closer, until suddenly the gunfire stops, with an eerie silence like death is near. The colonist's blood ran cold with the eerie silence, the guard's guns pointed toward the massive door, waiting for something to happen. One of the guards could hear the voice of one of the men from the corridor calling for help. As he rushed to the door, the other guards pulled him back and told him, if he opened the door, we would all be dead. But the guard didn't listen. Once again, he ran to the door and pressed the button to open the door. Suddenly out of the darkness, the guard that was outside looked torn up, blood coming from his mouth. As he hit the floor, it was already too late to close the massive doors. Fifty xenomorphs rush the hull like a wave of death-slaughtering colonists as they plow through them. Colonists panic as this terror unfolds. Newt's parents were the last to go. Newt watches her mother die as she fires a shot from her gun as acid hits her face. Her brother suddenly picks up the gun and gets one shot off too before succumbing to death. Newt, in her desperate attempt to survive, she scrambled into the vent with xenomorphs chasing her through the winding corridors of the air shaft. Finally, Newt managed to get to an area where the xenomorphs couldn't fit, and Newt disappeared into the vast corridor of the air ducts. An eerie silence fell over Hadley's hope like there was death on the wind. The colonists' fate was sealed. The lifeless bodies of the colonists cocooned to the walls in darkness forever, in a twisted fate no one could ever see coming. The fate of Newt was in the balance until a few months later the colony was once again sook by the rumble from the engine of a dropship. But it was already too late for rescue, and the Marine unknown to them would face the same terror the colonists did. The Marines fought valiantly, but the Xenomorphs' sheer numbers and ferocity overwhelmed them. In a desperate bid for survival, the team rigged the colony's fusion reactor to explode, hoping to eradicate the infestation. As the survivors made a harrowing escape, the reactor detonated, consuming Hadley's hope in a cataclysmic blast. The once thriving colony was reduced to ashes, a testament to humanity's hubris and the lethal dangers lurking in the uncharted reaches of space. As the most terrifying word in the franchise, in space no one can hear you scream. Oh.